Welcome class 9 to a video on demonstrative pronouns. This topic from your grammar section ties in with what you've done in the 8th and also revised already in your 4th lesson which is the demonstrative adjectives. Okay, it is a combined topic actually but we were taught it separately in the 8th. So now we combine it with the demonstrative pronouns. Okay, they are called these adjectives, demonstrative, ele pronoun, demonstrative. Okay. So let's quickly revise what we've done under the demonstrative adjectives and then let's jump on to pronouns. So as you can see demonstrative, the word itself tells you that you're trying to show something. You're trying to demonstrate something. Okay. These words as in the adjectives and pronouns help us to identify which particular things in the group we're talking about. So these demonstrative words, okay, the adjectives and pronouns in English are this, that, these and those. So if you're saying take this boy to the principal's office, right? You're, you're saying take this boy. So you're specifying, you're demonstrating which boy you're talking about from the group, okay? And if you say take this one to the principal's office, okay? Take this one to the principal's office. You're not saying that you're talking about a boy, right? But it is understood. That is when you're replacing a demonstrative adjective plus the noun that it is demonstrating. You have replaced this boy with this one. Okay, that becomes the demonstrative pronoun. As you know, a pronoun replaces a noun. Same way, the demonstrative pronoun will replace the demonstrative adjective and the noun that follows it. Okay, so in English, we have four, this, that, in the singular, these, and those. Okay, demonstrative adjectives will always appear with a noun because adjectives, you know, describe the noun. So there has to be a noun when you're talking about a demonstrative adjective. Okay, so they will come before a noun. While demonstrative pronouns will always appear by themselves, that is in place of a noun. So you will never find a demonstrative pronoun sticking to a noun because a pronoun comes in place of a noun. So where there is a pronoun, there will not be a noun. Okay, when there is a noun, you may find an adjective. Okay, so adjectives with and before a noun, pronouns never with a noun because they come in place of the noun. You have already studied the demonstrative adjectives. That is so and set for masculine singular, set TTE for feminine singular, say is for both genders, plural. Okay, now how do you distinguish whether you're talking about this or that? Okay, something that is close will be this, something that is far away will be that. How do you distinct how do you make the distinction between the two? You will use place determiners after the noun. Okay, so ce garçon si or ce garçon la si. And la. Okay, this has this C and la has nothing to do with the gender of the noun. This C and la has to do with the place. Okay, so if you're saying ce garçon C, this C is coming after the noun, right? You're using the demonstrative adjective ce before garçon. You're using C after the noun. So ce garçon C would be this boy. Whereas if you say ce garçon la, it would be that boy. Because ce can mean this or that. So how do you make the distinction whether you're talking about this or that? You will have to say C. Or you'll have to say la. That will come after the noun. So ce garçon C would be this boy. Okay. Ce garçon la would be that boy. So the C and the la only stand for the place. Okay. Whether you're talking about this or that. It has no bearing on the gender. The gender will give you the clue as to which of these you have to use. Okay. Now some example sentences for you to go through. We've already covered this topic in depth. So I'm not going to go through these sentences. Okay, you can see before a feminine singular, you have set, masculine singular starting with consonant, you have sir, masculine singular starting with a vowel, you have set, okay, and anything plural, whether it's masculine or feminine, you get say. Okay, the la and the c, can you see? C and la after the nouns, they stand for whether you're talking about this or that. Okay, you can pause the video and go through these sentences if you wish. I will not discuss them in detail. Now let's come to our actual topic at hand, which is the demonstrative pronouns. Okay, remember pronoun in place of a noun, never with a noun. Okay, so your four demonstrative pronouns are masculine singular is celui, feminine singular is cell. Now, for your demonstrative adjective, your masculine and feminine is the same. It is say, C-E-S. But for the pronoun, you have two. Okay, you have a masculine plural is se, C-E-U-X feminine plural you have cell okay so you have in total four demonstrative pronouns celui cell for the singulars masculine and feminine respectively se and cell masculine and feminine 
plural respective. Now, the role of the determiners remains the same. Okay. Only here you will not have a now in the sentence because you're talking about a pronoun. Okay. So it will come immediately after the pronoun. Where when you were using an adjective, ce garçon la, there would be a now. Now you will say celui la. Okay. This one. If you're talking about a boy, you will say celui la. Okay. That one. And celui si would be this one. The si talks about proximity, which is something that is close to you, will be this. And la talks about something that is distant, far away from you, will be that. So celui si would be this one. Okay. If you're talking about something masculine, that is. Celui la would be that one. Now, supposing you're talking about girls, you won't say this one when you're talking about a girl. Would be cell C. Okay, and if you're talking about that girl, you won't say that one without saying that girl, but you're talking about a girl. You would say cell la. Okay, so the gender indicates which pronoun you're using from this list. Okay, and C and la signify which place you're talking about, whether you're talking about something close to you or far away. So let's see some sentences. Okay, this is. Uh, a few sentences which which in which I, I have replaced the demonstrative adjective plus noun I have replaced it with the pronoun. Okay, so ce garçon ci est plus méchant que ce garçon là. This boy, okay, ce ci would be this boy is naughtier than that boy. So if you want to say this boy is naughtier than that one, you don't want to say boy boy twice in the sentence. Okay, you would replace ce garçon with celui. Okay, because it's masculine singular. This boy is not here than that one. Okay, instead so of saying that boy, that one. So demonstrative pronoun. Cet oiseau ci est plus grand que cet oiseau là. This bird is larger than that bird. Okay, now masculine singular oiseau, masculine singular. So you will replace it with celui again. Remember here now the Vowel makes no difference because you are not using the noun when you're using a pronoun. Okay, so it's masculine singular, that is your clue to put. Celui. Cet oiseau ci est plus grand, plus, plus grand sorry, que celui là. Okay, this bird is larger than that bird. Okay, instead of saying this bird is larger than that bird, this bird is larger than that one. Celui là, without the noun. Cette chanson là. A plus belle que cette chanson ci. That song, now can you see la, which means that. Okay, that song is more beautiful than this song. Instead of saying this song again, you want to say this one. Okay, cette chanson la est plus belle que celle ci. Because this now is feminine singular. These two are masculine, so you put celui. This one is feminine, so you put celle. Okay, cette exhibition ci est plus ennuyeuse que ce film là. That this exhibition, set C would be this. This exhibition is more boring than that film. Okay, so now you're replacing. You want to say this exhibition is more boring than that one. Okay, you don't want to say film. You just want to say that one. So you would replace this with the appropriate pronoun. Okay, which would be celui because film is le film masculine singular. So set exhibition C est plus ennuyeux que celui là. This exhibition is more boring than that. One. Okay. Now, cette étudiant ci est plus industrielle que cette étudiant là. Now here you are talking about this student is more hardworking than that student. But that student here is a female. The first one is a male, the second one is a female. So you want to say this student is more hardworking than that one. Okay, instead of saying student twice, feminine singular, you will replace it with cell. Okay, cette étudiant ci a plus industrial to sell up. This student is more hardworking than that one. Instead of saying that student again. Okay. Ces tableaux là sont plus magnifiques que ces tableaux ci. Those paintings are more beautiful, are more magnificent than these paintings. You want to say those paintings are more beautiful than these. Instead of saying these paintings, these or these ones. Okay. So now this here is a plural. Now remember when you're talking about the adjective, it is just one. Say, you are not uh, dividing it based on the gender when you're talking about the adjective because there is only one. Now when you're talking about the pronoun, you will have to divide it based on the gender because masculine plural pronoun is sir, C-U-X. Feminine pronoun in the plural is 
cell, C E L L E S. Okay, so now this is masculine plural, so you will have to substitute it with S. Okay, C E U X. C E T A B L U L A. So please magnify the C E C. Those paintings are more magnificent than these ones. Okay, C E C. C E F M C E S. So please gentil the C E T O M L A. So these ladies are more kind or are kinder than that man. So now you're comparing ladies and a man, but you want to say these ladies are kinder than that one. Okay, you don't want to say man. You want to say that one. So the man is masculine singular. You want to say that one. You will replace it with a pronoun which is sil masculine singular. Okay, can you see the demonstratives? Uh, the, sorry, the place determiners everywhere. Okay, they carry on, but when you're placing them in a pronoun sentence, they come immediately after the pronoun. Okay, when it is with an adjective, it will come immediately after the na. Okay, the determiners remain the same. C for something that is close, so you want to say this. Okay, and la for something that is far, you want to say that. Okay, so you have four demonstrative pronouns: celui, masculine singular; cell, feminine singular; se, c e u x for masculine plural; and cell, c e l l e s for feminine plural. This wraps up the topic on demonstrative adjectives as well as the pronouns for ninth standard. Thank you.